Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Krypton. In today's video, I'll be showing you the method that I use to unlock Dark Ether on the baseball bat within two and a half to three hours. Of course, this will depend if you already have it unlocked and you have it leveled up a little. Before we get into the Dark Ether method, for anyone that has not unlocked the baseball bat, the quickest way to do it is on zombies. You have to kill 100 zombies that are affected by your Frost Blast. For both unlocking and getting the camos for the baseball bat, you will want to ensure you have melee tier five. This means that you will be healed as you kill zombies. And you also want to ensure you have quick revive tier 5 this means that you will regen health quicker and also be able to pick yourself back up when you are downed so the main weapons that you'll want to use to unlock the baseball bat is to use the e tool if you do not have the e tool you want to use the katana blade if you do not have that then you can use the standard knife you want to hop onto a game of the machine head up to the top penthouse and start training zombies it'll take 25 kills to get one frost blast once you've won frost blast you want to train a full horde of zombies up there put it down and all the zombies will get trapped within the frost blast and you want to start killing them once you have enough points by around three or four you want to head down and grab quick revive as i said it will heal you quicker and also be able to pick you up if you go down once you have that you go back up to the top of penthouse and keep training the zombies all you have to do is keep putting down frost blasts, killing zombies, then killing off the rest of the horde, and then at the start of the next round, doing the exact same thing. It should only take 20 to 30 minutes to unlock the baseball bat. If you do go down in this method, all you want to do is knife one zombie and it'll pick yourself back up again. From there, all you have to do is grab quick revive and just keep repeating this method. It does not matter how many times you go down. All right, so for anybody that has only unlocked the baseball bat before you actually start getting the camos for the weapon, all you want to do is start leveling it up on Outbreak. Before hopping into Outbreak, I'd recommend popping a 30 minute double weapon XP token if you have any. Because you're only in round 1, the XP gain will be a lot higher because you're not going through rounds. So just head around in a vehicle on whatever map on Outbreak and just kill all the zombies you can find. You'll want the baseball bat to be at least level 15 to 20. This will make it a lot easier to get all the camos within one game. So to do this method, you'll be hopping on Firebase C. The reason you want to do this method on Firebase C is because of the amount of bosses that spawn in on this map. On screen now, I have all the challenges that you need to do to unlock Dark Ether simplified. The challenge that gets kills with stuns and Ether Shroud can actually be done together at the same time so all you want to do is pop on ether shroud have a stun or a decoy throw the stun pop ether shroud into the horde of zombies and start killing them this will count towards both challenges the four main perks that you'll want is quick revive jug speed cola and stamina up the reason you want speed cola is because it will recharge your field upgrade 20 percent faster from here all you want to do is go through the rounds killing zombies getting them 750 kills ensuring that you pack a punch the weapon the first holdout is pretty simple you will not need any toxic growth you can just kill the zombies with the baseball bat by round 18 you should have finished the ether throw challenge to get all those camos so you can switch over to toxic growth preparing for the holdout on round 20 as it is a little bit more difficult from round 20 onwards you can switch back to ether shroud as it will help actually killing these zombies and getting out of tight situations the method that i use from round 20 to 30 is just reverse killing around the helipad all you want to do is put yourself in reverse checking out the money map to ensure you're not hitting anything and just hitting the zombies that are following behind you you do not have to worry about the zombies behind hitting you as tier 5 melee and also quick revive will heal you as you kill them you should have all the kills required done by round 25 now for the last camo unlock you will want to start a new game as it is to get 20 kills without getting hit by zombies doing this in round 25 to 30 is pretty much impossible you will get hit before you get 20 kills unless you're an absolute god but just start a fresh game and do it at spawn i tend to hop up in this ledge right here which means that the zombies have to climb up to kill me this makes it really easy to do this challenge you may have to restart the game twice going around 12 to get this challenge completed but it does mean you will get this done within two hours but yeah um this is the second time i've recorded this video now because it got corrupted uh that's why you're not seeing any challenges or anything and i've done it with dark ether if you did go and enjoy the video please drop a like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified when i upload once again if you have any questions any issues drop it down in the comment section i'll be sure to help you out you can also join my discord down in the description now some are saying that the link is not working at times but it seems like some people are able to join be sure to follow me on twitter also as i post mostly there and check out katana gaming that is the org i'm a part of down in the description down below i really do enjoy the baseball bat on multiplayer at the minute as you can see here's a few clips in the background of me using it i will gather all clips up and may make a montage with the blessing knife the bat and the crossbow so let me know down in the comment section if you would like to see that but yeah stay motivated never give up have an awesome day i'll see you on the next one good boy